911, where's your emergency? We have an oil rig that is on fire. It just exploded. For the first time, we are hearing calls made to 911 after Monday's deadly gas rig explosion in Pittsburgh County. Five federal and state agencies are investigating what caused the explosion. News on 6's Ashley Izbicki is on the story with those calls tonight. We're on Bascom Road. Okay, and what is on fire and exploding? It's an oil rig. The first 911 call came in at 838 Monday morning. Okay, what's the name of the rig? It is Patterson 219. Patterson 219. Is anybody hurt? Yes, ma'am. There's multiple people hurt. There was a full crew on the rig when it exploded. Workers, people passing by, and neighbors. There's a lot of black smoke in it. Okay, yeah. And it's really getting bad. All called in to report the deadly explosion. All right, sir. Uh, just is there any kind of chemicals or anything in the air? That doesn't... It, it, Oh, natural gas. Is, uh, okay, and it is blue. Smart. I mean, it's, it's on fire. Okay. The whole rig's on fire. Okay, we've got them headed your way. By 9 a.m., this was the scene. 24 hours later, crews recovered the bodies of five men in what's called the doghouse, the office used to control the drilling rig. Two victims, Cody Risk and Josh Ray, were from out of state. Roger Cunningham, Parker Waldridge, and Matt Smith lived here in Oklahoma. Today, News on 6 learned Smith's funeral is Tuesday in McAllister. In lieu of flowers, the family is asking for donations to Matt's son, Rhett. His family tells us Rhett was his proudest accomplishment and that Matthew was everything to us. He has left a space in our lives that will never be filled. You may not realize it, but this world is not the same place it was before. On the scene on the story in Quinton, Ashley Isbicki, News on 6. As families wait for more answers, News on 6 has learned 10 workers have died over the past decade at well sites linked to the drilling contractor Patterson UTI. And another report links the company to 20 deaths between 2002 and 2007, while no other company had more than five deaths during that same time span.